Hi everyone, it's Nettie Kay back at the studio. Today I'm working on a double dog portrait. One large dog and one small dog sleeping together. It's just the cutest thing and I'm really excited about it. Now here's the other contrast. I have a white dog and I have a dark dog. This one's got a little bit of brown and, and a, uh, some various different coloration in it. It's not a solid black dog, but it's a dark and light combination. So I first off did a gesture drawing and then I accidentally made this dog's head too big. So how did I fix that? Well, at some point you get too much graphite on there and you make a big mistake. You paint over it, all right? I took some titanium white acrylic paint. It's going to be an oil painting, yes, but I painted over the areas that were not correct. And then I went back in and corrected the size of the dog's head. I measured the dog's head this time by taking my fingers and going, all right, how big is that dog's head in comparison to the other dog and discovered that the dog next to the large dog was half the size of the large dog, pretty much. Okay, so I got the drawing right, uh, messed around with that white acrylic paint a little more, sprayed it with hairspray, and now we're ready to tone the canvas. Now the canvas is going to be toned in a middle tone because I have a light dog and I have a dark dog. Normally, I do tone the canvas in a middle tone every time because um, you want to be able to have the middle tone established and then add lights and, and then darks. So, the color I've chosen today is going to be in, um, since this is kind of a, a really cool white and, and a black and kind of black and cool colors, I'm going to tone the canvas with Indian yellow or transparent orange this time, actually transparent orange. And I'm using um, some thinner, I gotta clean my brush a little bit, whoa. Okay, so I'm using some, I'm using some thinner, odorless thinner, uh, right now I think it's called terpenoid, that's the kind of stuff I'm using. And I'm dipping into transparent orange. Uh, this color, I don't want regular orange because regular orange or cadmium orange is not a transparent color and I won't be able to see the picture underneath. I need to be able to see the picture underneath and so I'm going to now cover this entire drawing with transparent orange and I know that sounds a little bit crazy but you know every time I do it it feels like I'm, I'm doing something crazy but that's all right. I like scaring people. It's wonderful. All right so we're going to go with the transparent orange over the top and then I will just really juice it up. I'm using thinner. One of the questions that came out this week, do, how do we start the, what do we use? Regular paint, um, do you use medium, do you use what? When you start, well, the first layer of paint needs to be, um, if you're thinning it out for the initial part of the painting, we use thinner. We don't use medium for this part because then you're really stuck. Medium is for the, the second or third third, second and third uh, layers or um, then uh, over the top of this thinned out paint. And so um, that's probably pretty good. Now sometimes I do this on a flat surface because it's a lot easier, but for the sake of our camera, I'm going to be using the uh, up and down canvas in a vertical position. All right, now I'm going to take a few of my towels. Uh, or you can use cotton t-shirts, anything that doesn't have lint. You don't want to put lint pookies in the middle of your paint, okay? So um, I'm going to rub that in and I'm going to stain the canvas in essence. Now this might be a good time to pull that off and stain the outside edges as well because it might be a really good color in the background that we might want to use. And so I'm going to stain all the edges all the way around and we're gonna just do it like this, all right. And it makes a really nice, just a wonderfully warm feel uh, because this is a really happy little painting, all right. It's a, um, it's just makes you, you feel all warm and fuzzy inside. You want to make these dogs feel as though they're in a warm um, environment. Okay, well, that's about that. Now, I'm gonna stick that back on the easel, grab my, my uh, photograph again and I'm going to take a clean section of my towel and I'm going to do this. I'm going to come in and begin to wipe out the uh, highlights in the dog. I'll get it a little bit wet with some thinner 
grow some thinner down like this. And I'm going to wipe out some of the highlights. And you see how this, once you get your initial drawing down and stabilized, boy, it's a piece of cake almost. It's just fun. It goes really fast from that point on. You don't have to worry about uh, all of the other stuff. You're not worrying about color right now. All you're concerned with is tonal values. And so I'm going to get a little bit more, you know, more shallow jar for this, this process. I don't care if it's perfect. I'm just pulling out some of the highlights and, and enjoying the process a little bit. All right. And this dog, yes, it has highlights too, but it's going to be in the black and brown uh, zone. And so I'm not too worried about uh, getting all these highlights in on this dog, but uh, I can, you know, I can work this as much as I want. In fact, at this stage, it's almost a piece of art all by itself. You know, let's, let's face it, it could be hung on the wall uh, just about by doing just this kind of a thing. Isn't that just beautiful? Sometimes I hate to even add any more paint to it because it just looks so great. So anyway, that's where we're starting. And I'll get the little highlight over here. And there's a little foot down here. I'm going to just uh, find that foot. And then he's got a big fat, fat foot there. It looks like they have their arms kind of wrapped around each other. And there's actually a bit of a foot coming here. So there's an ear and then a foot. It took me a little while to find it, but I found this little foot sticking out right like that. Okay, so that's the beginning of this uh, painting, and uh, let's just keep working that until we get, get it just right. I think I'm happy with that at this point. All right, everybody, that's all I'm going to do on the preparation of our canvas for our double dog portrait. So if you'd like to know when the next video comes out on how to paint them, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you again really soon. Bye-bye.